Hello YouTube, it's me Elias. I'm back here with a new video and I'm going to be breaking down the preview about the Los Angeles Rams at the Baltimore Ravens. It's already week 14, so excuse me. Welcome to December. So yeah. Now the Ravens are coming off of a bye week and the Rams, they're coming off of a win over the Cleveland Browns. So now coming into this game, I know it's nighttime. I know that the Ravens coming into the into this game, Lamar Jackson, he is 17, I believe 17 and 1 versus the NFC, okay? And it is just mind-blowing how Lamar is 17 and 1 versus the NFC, okay? And the Los Angeles Rams, I know the Rams are in okay or a good NFL team, I suppose. But the thing is that um I know Odell Beckham played with the Rams previously, and last year Odell Beckham in 2022 missed mostly all of 2022, like last year, because of uh, him dealing with an injury, okay, that he had to deal with. But now he's going up against his former team, the Rams. And I know Odell Beckham played with the Browns and the Giants previously, all right? And I know the Rams and Ravens, they got rookie wide receivers. Puka Nakua is the wide receiver we need, really need to look out for. Or I should say Puka Nakua versus Zay Flowers, the top rookie battle wide receivers. I mean, top rookie wide receiver battle of the week. Nakua versus Flowers, okay? And lately I heard about the Ravens is that Lamar Jackson missed practice due to an illness. Looks like he um maybe has the flu. I'm not sure, but hopefully Lamar will still play for still play on Sunday versus the Rams okay and in this game hopefully it's going to be a good game I think that this game could go either way because the Rams are six and six not only that they have defensive end Aaron Donald Aaron Donald I feel like that Aaron Donald is a sacking machine because this guy's a good pass rusher and coming out of the bye week I really hope for Lamar to try to play a full season he hasn't done that in a while because of injuries and or maybe illnesses or something like that and hope I really hope for the Ravens to score more than one touchdown or beyond 20 points like they did like you know during the season aside from week five which was nasty okay excuse me now in this game, I really hope the Ravens can protect Lamar from Aaron Donald because I know Lamar likes to run and throw the ball, but we really need to look out for Aaron Donald, okay? And Matthew Stafford, he's a uh, starting. He's the Rams QB once again, okay? Because I know last year the Rams were just injury plagued, okay? But their wide receiver core, when you look at their wide receiver core, they got, you know, like Cooper Cup, the rookie Puka Nakua, and... The guy that I hear sometimes, his name is Tutu Atwell. So yeah, and also the, their tight end, Tyler Higby. So yeah, Tyler Higby, their tight end. We're going to keep an eye out on him. I just really hope that this game is going to go well, okay? Either it's going to be a 19-17 to 17 game or Ravens could try to score 20 points, but we'll see. It could be a defensive battle or an offensive battle. This should be a good matchup no matter what, all right? And I would really like to see our defense keep up the good work because, you know, Mata BK so far this year is having a monster year with like 10 or 10 and a half sacks, including Kyle Hamilton, Geno Stone, Roquan, and Patrick Queen. And we got to feed our running backs just like our wide receivers like Keaton Mitchell, Rashad Bateman, Zay Flowers, Gus Edwards. We got to feed them, Okay. So yeah, in this game, really hope um, Lamar is going to play, all right? I, that's our QB. Even though Lamar missed today with an illness, hopefully he'll still be able to play Sunday against the Rams. But after the Rams, we get the Jaguars, the 49ers, Dolphins, and Steelers, and that is a very tough stretch throughout the season, okay? So yeah, LA Rams at the Ravens. Hopefully this is going to be a good game. All right, so let's hope we get the Rams this week, okay? Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. Peace.